Hello everybody, we're going full steam ahead on the BSM2 uploads as you can tell, there's no stopping the brakes on this train anytime soon. In this episode I don't have anything specific to show, rather I'm just gonna go over everything about the game so far while playing through all the level and order, so it's likely you'll only see me progress a few levels every video. Not that I'm going to show all 50 levels, but I might skip a few here and there cause most of the non-boss levels are pretty cookie cutter. So like for this video I'm starting on level 8, even though I only left off the last video at level 6. Let's dive into the gameplay now, actually never mind, I wanna mention some more important things first. Like the super monkey being visible again, well would you look at that. Not even a day since I discovered this glitch and Ninja Kiwi's already gone ahead and fixed it, good on them, now I can be sane again. And another news, the lag, where has it gone you might ask? Well hopefully into a black hole, cause I'm loving the smoothness of this footage compared to the ones in the previous two videos. Still looks like there's a few FPS drops here and there, but overall it seems good enough to satisfy even the pickiest of people, so I'm happy. The solution was simple, drop OBS and record with Bandicam, that shit works wonders and I can't stress enough how freaking awesome that screen recorder is. So if you also wanna make gaming videos dwelling in the basement while in your 20s just like me then I definitely recommend Bandicam as a start. Anyways, on to the next topic I have on my mind. I have no idea how I completely blew over this on the last two BSM videos, but I won't forget the poll this third time around. And I think it's an interesting question to see what the general ice of army population has to say about whether or not they will purchase and play the game. On the poll I have four options, one for yes, three for no and a reason for each one. The yes option is trivial, if you're planning to purchase or have already purchased the game then just click yes, no questions asked. If you're not gonna play the game though, then choose one of the three options I listed that closely describes why you aren't. First no option is straightforward, if you don't care about the game and are listening to me as we speak then it's safe to say you're not interested in this brand new game. For the second option, select it if you're having a little trouble making ends meet and can't spare a meal for an application. And for the last option, maybe you're 10 with no bank or PayPal account, but do have possession of a Samsung Galaxy Note 7 paid for by your rich parents. If for whatever reason though they won't purchase the game for you, then choose that option. I reckon most parents will not allow their kids to play the game in that scenario cause their phones are just gonna explode in a matter of time anyway, hashtag lame joke there. So go ahead and vote on the poll, I'm very interested to see the results so please vote honestly. Now if you don't mind, the rest of this video will be dedicated to the sexy ass gameplay. On to level 9 we go and I feel it's about the time we discuss our weapon arsenal. So far, my gut is relying on knowledge I learned from the Flash version of the game, whether I went for an energy core with darts for both arms. And as you can see everything is the same here except for the fact I swapped out the dart for boomerangs on my right arm. As for why I did that, well no particular reason other than for variety. LOL, I figured it might get a little boring if I kept using the same weapons all the time and shit, so why not switch it up without sacrificing too much power, as I believe boomerang arms are about as strong as the darts, trading pure popping power for a little more accuracy, which is probably what I need considering all the shit I have at the moment shoots in a straight narrow line, albeit a powerful one. I don't know though, I'm sure things are a lot different on the mobile version so the only way to find out the best weapon sets is to test them all out myself, or if someone further ahead in the game than me provides some of their advice, which I've seen a couple comments of already so thank you for that. So yeah, right now I'm just upgrading whichever thing at the time costs less, so that all three parts are equally as strong. Don't want my right arm to end up a lot bigger than my left arm, if you know what I mean. 
I guess now's a good time to discuss power-ups, not the ones that rain down havoc on your screen when you pick it up during the middle of a game, I'll cover those in a future video. But I'm talking about the ones you activate before the game that give you either a constant special effect or single use ability, the ones that you get from collecting those grey crates each time around. Most of the time you'll end up with three boxes, each containing one power up. Looks like we got a pretty shitty reward for beating level 9, we got two blob magnet power ups, which allow you to collect blobs a little easier, and a power up that weakens some balloons to make them pop in one hit. Keyword some. Even though I did just call them shitty, they aren't bad power ups per se, but I assume the one star label on these guys mean they're on the low side of the power spectrum compared to other options, like the Monkey Parallel Mirror and Super Monkey Fan Club, which you haven't seen any of yet. They're both tier 3 so maybe that's why they haven't showed up in the early levels, but despite not yet seeing them I can bet they are miles better than Blub Magnet and Layer Thinner. Now for level 10 I'm just going to use my excess blob magnet power ups as well as a tier 2 power up called Sun Blast, which I have not used yet but being the retarded dumbass I am, I did select it on level 8 but never ended up using it cause I completely forgot it was an active ability, not a constant one. Oops I guess, I won't make the same mistake this time. Gonna leave you guys off with that. Stay tuned for some more balloon popping action in the future, and make sure to sub if you haven't to keep notified on it. Likes are appreciated too, have a magnetic day. Thank <laughs> you.